it's coming back right now. People mentioning, you know, I'm the finalist of last year. It's not great going in the locker room and seeing uh, Elena's picture, but uh, <laughs> I tried to take it off. But <laughs> um, it's it's very nice, you know, um, having like uh, the attention and um, you know just. Um, you did um, a Grand Slam final. It's not a bad thing. It's something that it, it's great. And um, maybe sometimes we, we d I didn't see it that way because obviously I wanted to go for the title. But again, a final is a, is a great final. You know, it's a Grand Slam final. Um, and um, I just want to use that experience, use, use that the, the pressure that I felt last year to maybe do better this year. But again, you know, my, my first goal here is to really enjoy playing on grass and... Uh, maybe uh, recreate greater, greater memories uh, like last year or the year before. Always prepare as much as I can to, to be 100% ready. Uh, you know, the first rounds are always uh, very tough. So uh, I take it one day at a time. Um, I've been having uh, good practices, good hits. And, uh, you know, hopefully this level will continue even like uh, during the matches. I always talk in my interviews that I want to like inspire more and more generation from from my country, from my continent. Um, I believe that we have a lot of talented players and uh, it's a shame not to see them here in Grand Slams, in Wimbledon. I know they dream about it, so um, hopefully I can share more my experience and, uh, and maybe give them some advice if uh, they want to be professional tennis players. I have a little bit of experience, so maybe it could help them, but... Uh, I believe nothing comes easy uh, and the beauty of things that comes, uh, there is a little bit of struggle in it and uh, that's uh, how I believe you can enjoy it more.